going on YouTube? Got another update going on. One thing I love seeing is all this growth that's coming off of uh, one of my apple tree clones. As you can see, I have uh, my little guys. They're still coming up and starting to get a little bit big. Uh, strawberry transplants over there uh, starting to come back. There's new growth. As a matter of fact, if you look right there, right in there, you can see there's a little bit of growth. And right in there, there's a little tiny bit of growth. Um, everything else seems to be doing pretty good. My tomatoes here, standing up pretty tall. They've been dropping some of the lower leaves and everything. I've been pulling some of them, cutting them back and everything. But for the most part, they seem to be doing pretty good. I have uh, my eggplant here. It uh, looks like it's actually stabilized. And it's uh, out of its shock. And it's starting to actually produce some leaves and grow a little bit. Okra, everybody's doing the same. A little bit taller. One thing I did add, uh, besides all of the leaves missing here on my purple bell and my carmen, uh, a bunch of leaves just kind of fell off and everything. Again, I think they're coming out of shock as well. Found another sucker. I uh, took that off of one of my tomatoes in the Lava Rock aqu Aquaponic Garden and uh, just threw it right in here. As you can see that lower leaf, uh, I needed to just go ahead and trim that off of there. But it drooped right over the first day or two, and now it's parking right up and uh, looking uh, kind of green. It was kind of yellowing, and now it's starting to green out a little bit. So hopefully that will become another uh, tomato clone. And uh, the rest of the peppers here, they all seem to be doing pretty good. Um, a couple of them lost a few leaves and everything. But um, you can see here, this tomato is doing pretty good. Some nice growth right here. This one also. Uh, the hydra is set up. I went ahead and just pretty much bumped everybody up. I doubled up on the zip ties except for that one, this one, this one, and that one, and my basil over, over there, um, and that very first pepper way over there. But everybody else, I doubled up on. It was leaking right here. You can see the algae growth. It was leaking right out of there mainly, and there, there. But pretty much those last three uh, Brussels down there were sitting down into the water. The root mass is clogging up all the water, backing it up into that one, and then the strawberry, strawberry, and this uh, horrible looking pepper here, which I've just been keeping as, uh, hey, it might come back. <laughs> I don't think it's going to come back. Same as this guy right here. It's in the middle of fruiting, and I don't think that uh, it's actually going to come back, as well as that one over there. And this guy over here also. You can see the base of them. They look uh, pretty all black and everything. Just looks like they have some root lock going on. Um, but as you can see now, I've actually got a decent amount of water flow coming out of the tube. Um, barely any leaking. As you can see, there's one spray over there and another spray right there uh, coming from those last two Brussels right there. That's the only leaking that we've got going on. I just cleaned the system out and everything, uh, the pump that is, and we're running at max flow. So, as you can see, um, we'll help drain off of the filter there and just the drain off of the main uh, pump pipe. They're going pretty decent. Um, this bed over here, actually, uh, you can see, got a decent amount of water going into there. And uh, thanks to my goofy uh, pest, I've uh, got a whole bunch of damage to my tomatoes, but they're growing back even stronger. They're actually coming back really good. There's a nice green growth going on there. And uh, no other pests have been back since. I found the one in uh, the strawberry, or the tomato over here. And as you can see, now I've got a few tomatoes all uh, fruiting right over here. I've still got this open spot for another bed. It's still plumbed up. Everything's ready to go. Just waiting for uh, the new fall crops to start popping up in the store. Uh, this, <laughs> obviously, the seeds that have popped into this bed over here uh, are not doing too good. I've got, what, four that actually have popped up out of, like, how many packets of seeds that I put in there. But I guess that's following suit with uh, all of the seeds that I've put in this year because almost none of them. I think I've got like a 5% ratio that have come up this year. So, and I'm not talking about in the aquaponics. I'm also talking about my dirt garden as well. They just haven't been popping up at all. But uh, right over here, you can see a little bit better of a view and you can see like, well, what the heck is all, with all these zip ties and everything. They're literally just spacers, just holding everybody up. 
And again, these two right here are looking horrible, probably gonna get pulled. I keep saying that, and then I'll find pests on them and get rid of the pests, and then I'll watch them for days and days and days, and there's no pests, but they really don't look like they're doing anything good. You can see they got a little bit of growth going on in there, and right inside there, um, but nothing really where um, I'm getting very optimistic or anything. Overall, in the entire system, I have been having some wacky stuff going on, like uh, right over there with the peppers. You can see these goofy uh, colored leaves. <laughs> right there with the basil right over there. That one's got some goofy colored leaves. That's a uh, purple basil. And uh, you know, just all the different random stuff. Well, it wasn't until I came back over here, because this is strawberries or what I really have the uh, experience with. It's not until I actually started looking at my strawberries and started thinking, what the heck? I know what the hell is going on here. And uh, obviously, if you've seen any of my past videos, um, you probably can figure it out as well. I mean, just look at these leaves. They're looking very veiny. Um, they're starting to yellow a lot. Um, and it's usually the new grip. Uh, well, all of us people in the aquaponics, we all know that is an iron deficiency. So I went ahead and even though I just added iron just a little bit ago, what, like a month or two ago, it's time to go ahead and add them again. We had a bunch of uh, water leak out. We had a bunch of rainfall. So we've got a whole bunch of water that didn't even have iron in it to begin with. And we had to go ahead and fix some of that problem. And as you can see in the strawberries, yes, the pests have been staying around as beetles. I found a bunch of them. And every time I come out here, I go ahead and uh, grab as many as I can, toss them to the fish tank for all, the, all of the fish. And uh, so hopefully, I just added some uh, chelated, cheated, whatever, uh, iron, the water-soluble iron. I just added some of that, uh, I don't know, a couple hours ago. And I added it right into the bed with the bell out, uh, bell siphon out of it. And um, just added it that way. Uh, after it drains, that way the water can... Um, you know, go into all the roots and everything, and I usually leave the bell siphon off for a little bit. That way it can go ahead and uh, just trickle over instead of draining the entire bed. And uh, it's just normally the way I do it. And did that as well today. And uh, did also a couple, uh, uh, well, about probably half a teaspoon or so over here in this bed as well. Just did the same thing, pulled the bell siphon, uh, added the chelated iron, and pretty much don't put the bell siphon back on until uh, the like weird tint that it makes the water look. Um, can't exactly describe it, it's kind of like a yellowish, uh, sometimes greenish kind of tint. And uh, once that pretty much goes away and it's clear again, I pop the bell siphon right back in, and we're right back to uh, ebb and flow bio filter here as you can see I'm doing pretty good not a lot of water coming in uh, not a lot of water coming out there's a whole bunch of crap all in there and uh, it's not as bad as it has been in the past it's actually kind of clean but uh, it's still working uh, pretty decent at least uh, over here you can see my cantaloupe are actually starting to flower so they're really really tiny they didn't even vine yet but they're already starting to flower, so hopefully we're gonna, I mean, they should be out of shock by now. It's been a few weeks now, what, four weeks? And uh, these uh, watermelon, they're doing pretty decent as well. Uh, they are right here, Let me separate them, that way we can see them. And they're looking actually pretty decent. You can see we've got brand new growth going on here in the watermelon. It's actually starting to take off. So I think this guy is actually going to um, do some uh, growth. And we've got a little, crappy trellis here so it can climb up there and uh, this guy is also putting off some growth too so just like uh, this cantaloupe right here you can see it's starting to vine out and take off so hopefully we can get that going my apple tree here still has a little bit of growth going on this pear over here does not so I'm pretty much sure that that's gonna be dying my um, sucker trimmed off the bottom leaves and look at that it already looks like a miniature tomato plant like you buy at the store and meanwhile that was uh, just some growth off of one of the other tomatoes all of the peppers here are flowering um, they're trying to fruit and 
Let's see how that goes. They're also looking kind of yellow and everything. Hopefully that's part of the iron deficiency and hopefully I've already corrected it. All right, that's all I got for this week. So, until next time, later.